Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Porchy Tech. And today we are gonna be taking a look at this watch here, cause we have an issue here where it says too many attempts, reset Apple Watch and peer again. So that happens when you try to enter your password for your Apple Watch too many times and it's wrong. Or some, in this case, my wife, the baby was playing with the watch and it locked, cause I guess she was playing with the code, okay? So now we're gonna go into getting this resolved. So please follow along. If there's any part in this video where you think you got it and you don't wanna see the whole video, then you're free to skip and fast forward or do whatever you have to do to get through this quickly. But I'm gonna do it step by step. So if you have to get ahead, then you could skip, okay? So first, you're gonna need a charger. Without a charger, you're not gonna get this to work. So we're gonna place the Apple Watch on the charger here. And then we're gonna go ahead and hold down the power button right here. So you click that button and we get to this menu here. So when you get to this menu, this crown, you're gonna have to hold down the crown here until you see this pops up where it says erase all content. So we're gonna hit reset. Okay, it's gonna ask you, are you sure you wanna reset? So we're gonna go ahead and hit reset right there. So it's gonna go ahead and reset the watch. Okay, so now the Apple Watch is booting back up. Okay, so now we have this screen. So now we're gonna have to go ahead and set up the Apple Watch again, as if it was brand new, and then you're gonna have to restore your settings. So let's do that. If this, if you know how, if you already already know how to pair the watch, then you could go ahead and continue on your own. But for those who need help, then you could continue watching the video, and let's pair the watch. So here it is. So we're gonna use this iPhone to set up Apple Watch. So that that's what's on the phone. So we're gonna go ahead and select that option right here. Okay, and we're gonna go set up for myself. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and scan this Galaxy looking thing on the watch. There we go. So it says software update available for this Apple Watch. So in this case, we are gonna skip the update and continue. Sometimes it forces you. So I'm gonna try and see if I could bypass that by selecting this option here. If not, then we're gonna have to go ahead and, okay, so it seems like it worked. So we're gonna go ahead and hit continue. So it says connect into your watch. This may take a moment. So th this, the last backup you have of your Apple Watch is gonna be restored. So make sure you just restore your settings that you had backed up for your Apple Watch. If you didn't have a backup, then you're gonna have a problem there. In which most cases has automatic backup, so you should be fine. Okay, I agree. Okay, so it's locked to owner. Okay. So this watch is pretty much um has a line with T-Mobile. So he says activation lock for who is not an owner from using this Apple Watch. So to unlock this watch, enter the Apple ID and password that were used during setup. So I'm gonna have I'm gonna go ahead and set this up, okay? So now it's gonna sign into the iCloud and restore the settings for your watch. So we're gonna hit do not add passcode at this time. Okay, decline. Don't use passcode, let's select that for now. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter this information here off camera. Okay, so now it has cellular setup. So let's go and hit set up cellular. Great, so now it says cellular is ready. So in, if you do not have a cellular um, LTE watch, then you won't have to worry about this step. So this is for someone who has a cellular 
connectivity watch okay so now it says apple watch is syncing which means it's pretty much restoring the information that was last backed up from this watch okay so it says the apple watch now i access i have access to imessage facetime so we're gonna hit okay okay so now we're done and the apple watch is set up so there we go hopefully that one helped you out so now let's go to general and it says about and that's the information for the apple watch okay and we have a cellular here set up for the watch and it's showing that it's connected to t-mobile again okay so there we go let's go back and that's it your apple watch is done and you should be fine and you should not be seeing anything poppy now you should be able to go to your menu and everything on your apple watch here okay so that's it hopefully this video helped you out and your watch is being restored and you can use your apple watch peace